You can help a child learn about animals by talking about how they are alike and different. For example, if you see a dog and a bird, you could say, they are both animals. How are they alike? The child might say, they both make sounds. You could say, they both have eyes. Then you can ask, how are they different? The child might say, a bird can fly and a dog can't. You could say, a bird has feathers and a dog has fur. You can do this with any two animals. This can be a fun way to learn about the different characteristics of animals. Good morning, kindergarten. Miss Rice here with your daily science lesson. Um, let's just recap real quick. Yesterday we talked about living things and non-living things. And we discussed that living things are something that needs um, air, water, food to live. It needs to uh, grow. It can move. And um, they have babies. And we also talked about non-living things that they don't need anything to live. They don't need food and air and water. And they cannot move unless you move them. So we looked at examples of the living thing was my baby kitten Charlie and my dog Lucy. Those are living because they have to have water and they have to have food and air to breathe to live. And they need um, a place to live. They need a um, home. And they grow. They started out little bitty and they get big. And then we looked at the stuffed animal and we decided that that stuffed animal is non-living because it can't grow. And it doesn't need food and it doesn't move unless we move it. So today I'm going to a chart that I made just kind of recapping how animals are alike. And remember, we talked about their needs. Their needs are food, air, water. And animals have babies. They have a body. They have body covering. We've, animals also, they can move to find food. They move to get away from danger. And animals need homes for shelter, for sleep, and for safety. The one thing we're going to talk about today is body covering. We're going to compare and um, look at animals with different body covering. And I've wrote skin, fur, feathers. So let's look here at this little um, diagram I made. Animals with different types of covering. We've got the fur. We have cats. They have fur. Panda bears. They have fur. We also have animals with feathers. You've got parrots, um, flamingos, they all have fur or feathers, and then all different kinds of birds. And then we also have animals with scales, like the fish and the crocodile or alligators. And then we also have animals with shells, like the turtle or the hermit crab. Mm, how are all these alike? They're all animals, you're right. They all need food. They all need water. And they all need places to live. And they grow. How are they different? Their body covering is different. Some have fur. Some have feathers. Some have scales. Some have shells, like the turtle and hermit crab. And some have claws. Some have... Um, two legs, some have four legs. And then we've got the smooth skin animals, like the dolphins and the frogs. And like the, the dolphins are like kind of like fish. They have the fins and frogs have, um, they have legs. So those are some ways that they are alike and different. So let's look back over here. And I'm going to show you another chart. Animal types. Alright, so we've got fur. And we know that dogs and cats and bears have fur. Can you think of anything else that have fur? 
Mm -hmm. Giraffes. Yeah, there's several things that you can think of. So if you can maybe make a chart like this and add some more animals, that would be great. We have feathers, which is all the birds. Parrots, blue jays, the flamingo. We have skin. Animals like the pig and shark, frogs, dolphins. And then we have the ones that have scales like the snake and the fish and the alligators. And I forgot to put the shells on there like the, the shells we see at the ocean, the um, clams, the hermit crabs, and the turtles live in a shell. So what I would like for you to do today is I'm going to show you an example in just a second. Is I want you to think of two animals that are alike and different. And I want you to make me a chart. And I want you to tell me how they're alike. And I want you to tell me how they're different. And I went ahead and I did that for you to show you an example. So let's turn around. Look, I chose a giraffe and a zebra. All right, so zebras, they're black and white. They're kind of medium in height and they have stripes. Um, a giraffe is yellow and brown and tall. And it has spots and long legs. So those are the ways that they are different. But then they're alike because they both have fur. They both have two eyes, two ears, four legs, and one tail. So this is a chart of different and alike. And so for your homework today, I want you to make a chart like that. Get out your writing journal or a piece of paper, and I want you to think of two animals, any animal you want, and I want you to draw me a picture of them, and I want you to tell me how those animals are different. How are those animals alike? So you're going to describe the characteristics of each animal, and that's going to be kind of how they're alike. Are different I mean because I like the zebra the characteristics of it is black and white they're medium and their stripes the giraffes characteristics is yellow brown they're tall spots and long legs but then that's how they're different that's they both have fur though they both have two eyes and two ears and four legs and they both have a tail all right boys and girls get out your writing paper draw me a picture make a chart like miss Ross did and send me a picture. I can't wait to see your um, a lot, your characteristic picture of a lack and difference. All right, guys, have a wonderful day, and I'll see you tomorrow.